Good evening, everybody. It's Reverend Tim sitting uh, out here in the backyard a lot, little later than normally I would bring a poem. And I was thinking of a, a song my mom used to sing to me when I was really, really little, uh, one of those bedtime songs. In the cool, cool, cool of the evening, tell them I'll be there. In the cool, cool, cool of the evening, better say a prayer. Here's Grayson. At least Grayson likes my singing, even if nobody else does. Um, so I think you know that um, there's a lot of amazing poets that have lived and continue to live in Fresno. Um, very special thanks to Fresno State. Um, so today we have a Fresno poet, Dixie Salazar. And Grayson is deciding he wants my attention and doesn't want to share me <laughs> with you tonight. Um, so there we are. Hey, Grayson. So Dixie Salazar recently wrote a, a new poem about what we're going through. It's called Cold Pizza. And I love how she is getting that mix of, um, that mix of, uh, forgetting about time um, when we're sheltering in place. I know a lot of people are talking about that, that they're just losing a real sense of uh, organization to their day. So this is Dixie Salazar's cold pizza. I'm eating cold pizza for breakfast in my sweats now for three days. Maybe it's lunchtime, not sure really. Time is a snake swallowing its tail. What day is it anyway? Yesterday I wrote the wrong year on a check. At least I think it was yesterday. Oh yeah, it was the day my doorbell rang. That was exciting. Or maybe it was weeks ago. I, I think it was the day I talked for hours with a friend about the past. Present and future turn into organ recitals now. Isn't that what Alzheimer's is like? You forget the present and remember the past in detail? My dad in his 90s out of nowhere recited a scene from Shakespeare's Merchant of Venice. Maybe I have early onset. No, I still remember who I am and my children's names. Would anybody tell me if I got them wrong, or just humor me, best not to upset her. The calendar's empty. The phone never rings. Where are the telemarketers when you need them? I dreamed I was in prison last night, or, or was it the night before? I had to get a number to line up for food and stand on an X. Wait, maybe that really happened. In the dream, the food was all gone when I got to the front of the line, but there was cake. And then I woke up hungry. Or did I wake up? If I did wake up, I should go take a shower. But I think I already took one, so maybe that means I woke up, I guess. Is it too early for a glass of wine? Or maybe it's too late. Where did all these empty bottles come from? Maybe I'll go for a walk and wave at strangers, but I'm tired. Maybe I already walked today. Hint for the day. If someone comes toward you in a mask, don't offer them all your money. Sometimes I catch myself staring off into space for no reason. Does that count as meditation? Wish I had a piece of cake right now. Why is there a slice of cold pizza on my coffee table? Thank you, Fresno poet. Dixie Salazar for a humorous but also realistic look at what 
sheltering in place feels like, at least for some of us. Because I have to remember, it's a blessing, it's a blessing to sit in my backyard in the, the evening and share a poem. And it's a blessing for you to be able to just listen to me share a poem because there are parts of this country and in the world where that isn't possible right now because of what's happening with the pandemic. So let's count our blessings together. In the cool, cool, cool of the evening, tell them I'll be there.